Yep, since the server is loading, looks like we're back into the Lancy Drone. And but last time we did for a B course as well. So looks like I'm gonna be using a Pagani Optopia. Looks like we're inside of a Gran Turismo 6. And look at this version. Looks like we're gonna be going up here. So I don't know, unfortunately, that's it might be able to turn to Gran Turismo 6. Let's see a full lap in a Westover Nordschleife as well. It's some kind of the Lancidrome Nordschleife, which is absolutely the race competition will be start again soon. Here's the start, and we're going to be here for on lap as well. By going out of fuel, I won't be able to do it like this if I'm not going to be going out of fuel as well. So, looks like this is absolutely the shortest way for the short version. And that is the longest version to get all the way to the top as here. So, to get all the way as really fast as you can, to get all the way to the North July phase, to go on one piece. I'm not going to be worrying about for the race competition. I'm not going to be so brave at going all the way down into its front front, just like the Grand Turismo 6. To get up into this moment, that's going to be changing all the way down into here. Let's gonna be blast all the way up here until I just won't able to get wasted for some miles. The shine is absolutely blazing this for bla blazing days as well. It's not day breaking for just a little bit one day. So this is where that's am I gonna be putting out of straight and try not to spin all the way around. It seems does not look like a beautiful one. When I press R for mouse control, that contains for the literally this one as well. And that just contains for a game pass for radio pass as well. And the game continues to load and looks like getting under down the bridge over time of the 360 degree loop. To get all the way up and not to, uh, not to touching the grass as well. To get all the way up here. So if this isn't gonna be taking a little bit while of I guess. It does sound like the biggest North July fate, I say. Looks like we're in 230 miles an hour. It looks like here comes another 360 degree loop. Looks like we're into some other kinds of corners left. And into the tunnel as we're going to be getting all the way down into its through. So it looks like we're just going to be taking a little bit close. Very close as well. Still in the level 95. That is it currently I'm inside of the level 95 as well. And that is how this is going to be taking a little bit fine. So don't ever going to be trying to be cutting up the screw all the way with itself. I'm not going to be worrying about this racing competition. But don't worry about this. It will be taking for a lot of minutes for just a way. We're going to be taking for a little bit couple of minutes. And that should be going to be spinning all the way out here. And to this going to be all the way down into the tunnel. And we're going to be taking a little bit for this really fast as well. Don't worry, we're going to be using all the using the night trucks all the way up into the top. And we're going to be speeding all the way to over 200 miles an hour as we're speaking all the way for this right now. The full way circuit is absolutely going to be taking all the way to 230 miles an hour. And it's not going to be should be able to get on top speed. And this is where we're going to be break hard and try to make a turn all over to this place to turn and get all the way down into gear 7. And the way up at here, that should be changing car engine sounds. And otherwise, in some other terms of vehicles, and which is going to be the two ways that you might going to be getting up into the top. Now, looks like I'm going to be stopping over here until I must turning off the engine as well. So, looks like I'll keep it away from disappearing. So, which turn are we? I think we just slap out with this one. I think the car just slapped the blown away. So, if this is going to be going left. Which leads us back into circuit really fast into the main Grand Prix section. And going on straight leads into a various long circuit of all times. Because this is absolutely a various summer for like a guess. And the car should might be able to get despawn against really early. Let's get to be driving all the way down its street. And it's not gonna be completely how possible it is. So it looks like we're gonna be respawning the vehicle. It looks like I'm just going to be respawn one vehicle for this time. So it looks like I'm not going to be going straight until I might going to be going this way. Since I was absolutely going to be taking a little bit right, that should be going to be leading us back into the circuit that where it's going to be during this as well. So to get all the way down into it straight, 
into the streets of Dam as well. So it looks like we're going to be checking for around for one mile left. And this should be going to be lead us back into the circuit. So it looks like Rita's going to be taking all the way to its front. Now let's going to be taking a little bit slowly over here. And another run should be going to be taking over here. So in this some kind of just a little bit circuit. When I just take it left, we're just absolutely taking all over to this one. We'll be taking for all the way for this one as well. And that is the same how the fastest lap time you could be. And blasted night took all the way to start finish and made the lap time very faster as well. So it looks like this is gonna be a good choice. And not only is that I'm not gonna be getting away from 230 miles an hour and away to start finish. And officially that we're gonna be going all the way back here to the long circuit. Now we're taking the long course as we was. As looks like somebody just gonna be continuing to go all the way longer as 230 miles an hour. I might gonna be using for the Celine S5 or Celine S7. So it looks like we're gonna be taking all the way down here. But things are just loading much not quicker anymore. And looks like we're just gonna be pushing our ways to blast all the way by using Nitrox. Anything is gonna be going all the way for just a little bit through. Now going on to up here, and just gonna be let me things gonna be a little bit close enough before the night torch has been gonna be trying to get a little bit price. Until we have to reach a level 96, there must be huge corners. We buy this some kind of a few years ago that should make this track even a bit long as well. And because of this update, was absolutely pretty insanely good. So it looks like it is absolutely gonna be taking all over to this place. And make sure it will be absolutely very as possible. And making a huge long corners as the Le Mans corners as well. I just absolutely I'm not gonna be very not quite a very close as well. So I just gonna be using for this other flip and recover is gonna be disabled. Looks like we're just absolutely taking for all of these ones as well. And we're inside of the afternoon session as it was. So it looks like we're gonna be Oh another race competition is not gonna be starting against well. It looks like I'm not going to be worrying for this after we're going to be finishing for taking for all of this side and make it all the way to start. 1 to 59 miles driven. We have a lot of miles driven as we're going to be breaking around here. Looks like we just absolutely made a huge few corners to go before we might be able to take a little bit go. It has improved chassis. It will be just absolutely for this. The game updates for improved chassis as well. As we're going to be taking a little bit down to step closer all the way down into this one front as we're going to be heading onto their 250 to 267 270 miles per hour which is absolutely went back into the highway roads and it looks like there must be chicane over here and it looks like there must be a, a huge a bank of corner and must be not a little bit quite almost dangerous for these cars and went back into the straight and back to night trucks once again and headed all the way to start finish line in just 230 miles an hour and that is it and it looks like we're just absolutely power sliding all the way down into this automatic gear transmission and by using for this straight and that was slightly crazy for this one as well as we still have Koenig 6 yes and that's absolutely pretty says yes as well so if you like for today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click that bell. That was absolutely always it for just a little bit. Now it's just going to be doing the same outro as well back in Project Track Day. So it looks like if we're going to be doing for some more like these things, the Apex Toruno is going to be standing all over to this place and made the statement of outro as well. So I'm not going to be starting all over to this place. And thanks for watching. That I'm going to be signing off until later on. That I'm going to be posting it for a new video as well for just going to be doing for a little bit of stuff until we're going to be reaching up to level 100 we're going to be doing this for really lots of times whatsoever and i almost forgot we're going to be getting inside of the dealership how recommended the cars are just going to be using to be so 217 miles per hour which means we're going to be driving all the way to there i can't believe it this is absolutely going to be taking for a little bit as much by using the Ford GT 2017 from Forza Motorsport 6 based on, it was absolutely going to be taking a little bit one's time. So it looks like I recommended that we're going to be using for American race cars as well. 
by using some other kinds of American race cars or sports cars or supercars as even hypercars as well. And all you have to do is gotta be buying the SSC to a Tara, which is insanely good as without for secondary. But I absolutely gotta be perhaps that I'm gonna be using for the Hennessy Venom as pretty possibly as well. The next one that should be I'm gonna be buying for 293 mile per hour known as the Hennessy Venom F5 after in the Hennessy Venom GT and the F5 was the evolutionary so it looks like we just absolutely I recommended that I'm gonna be choosing the Hennessy F5 which is cost for 4.4 million credits as well and the 300 mile per hour SSC to a Tara which will cost 3.8 million credits and this is absolutely gonna be very good American sedans which is an absolutely doing like this one in co concept P vehicles as well, concept vehicles as well. So I'm gonna be using for concept vehicles for just a little bit once. I'm sorry, it's just absolutely same for just a little bit of worse time. So it looks like that must be for a 240 that I'm gonna be using 310 mile per hour Devel 16, which is the Abu Dhabi Super Fire for Corona for just a little bit for just only one thing. And another one is the concept cars as well. The missile cars is absolutely using for only one thing. So let's get the beginning all the way to Swedish. Well, where is it absolutely for French cars? German cars are even more slower than I ever itself for today. Looks like 285 mile per hour for the Apollo. Another one is the Apollo Aero. And looks like some other cars, some the same top speed as the 230 miles per hour scoop man as well. Looks like we just absolutely needed to always find our way for a little bit of good. So I have to using for other kinds of this grand touring cars as well. However, we just absolutely find French cars as the Bugatti, which is you'll be recommended to go all the way down here to top speed humor against 290 miles per hour. Which is, I cannot uh, believe it, it was a, a humor of top speed as well. Still is using French cars as well. Another race competition is going to be off the line. And looks like other kinds of vehicles of the French vehicles will be absolutely going to be pretty not insane at all. It keeps on loading for just a little bit for one thing. And finally, Swedish cars we have still left before it's going to be removed. But insanely, but no time to lose. But we're gonna be still able to buy for 1.7 million credit like these things. As we're gonna be using all the way for family cars as well. Maybe I'm gonna be using for a 300 mile per hour car. And it looks like it costs for 7.7 .7 million credits. And that is all that I have to say for Swedish cars. Well, all you have to do is gonna be buying the Koenigsegg 1, which is the, not the Kremer Republic vehicle as well. But this, what absolutely going to be trying to just to be a Kremer public vehicle for 300 miles per hour. And that is all that I have to say. Thanks for watching and I'm going to be viewing the vehicle. And that is absolutely trying to take all the way for just a little bit. If this vehicle is going to be removed, it won't be absolutely going to be have much time left. So I hope you're going to be see you into our next video until I'm going to be see you into our next video, which will be Jopper Concept signing off. Now I'm going to be talking to you guys all later over and out as well.